Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on iDRAC. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically dedicated to iDRAC. If you're not familiar with iDRAC, that's Dell's remote access controller. Essentially, this is how you will remote into your server from a faraway place, whether that's you've got your server out of colo or you have your server on-prem at one of your client's locations. You need to be able to log in to control it or to make some changes. iDRAC will be the way that you do it. And I have to say, I actually really love uh, iDRAC as a whole. Uh, IPMI is what what uh, Supermicro uses. Uh, ILO is what uh, HPE uses that would be very similar to iDRAC from Dell, except for Dell's uh, interface is just so, so much more user friendly. Um, and it's a big reason why a lot of people choose Dell, to be quite honest, is they love the iDRAC feature. So I just wanted to point that out that it is very, very user friendly. So, all right, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over the two types of iDRACs. We're going to show you how to figure out what type you have. And then we're going to show you how to uh, update it from Express to Enterprise. And then at the end, we're going to actually configure iDRAC. All right, so now what we're going to do is show you how to upgrade your iDRAC license from from basic management to enterprise. What you're going to need is a laptop or desktop, a switch that has an active internet connection, some Cat5 cables to run from switch to the iDRAC port and to the laptop or desktop. What we'll also need is an enterprise iDRAC license. This can be found on cloudninja.com. We do sell enterprise licenses for Dell 12th gen, 13th gen, 14th gen, 15th gen servers. So if you need one, please feel free to reach out to sales at cloudninja.com and this will come in the form of an XML file. So if you're not sure if you need a new license and you need to find out what type of iDRAC you have, we'll start by showing you that. So what you want to do is boot up your server. On the post screen, you're going to press F2, and this is going to take you to System Setup. Once you get into System Setup, you're going to select iDRAC Settings and navigate to System Summary. Under System Information, look for the iDRAC license. Here's where it will tell you what type of license your 15th gen server has. We have a basic management license and we're gonna upgrade it to an enterprise license. All right, so now we need to set up the network before we can do the upgrade. So what we need to do is set up our switch and run the Cat5 cable from the switch to the 15th gen iDRAC port. Note this is not to the network port, it is to the iDRAC port, and we need to run a second cable from the switch to our laptop or our desktop. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to set your iDRAC DHCP IP address for your 15th gen server. So boot up your server, and from the post screen, press F2 to take you to system setup. Inside system setup, you're gonna select iDRAC settings and navigate down to network. Scroll down to IPv4 settings. Enable IPv4 should be set to enabled, and enable DHCP should also be set to enabled, and use DHCP to obtain DNS server address should also be set to enabled. You can now go back to your iDRAC settings and click finish to save the settings. You're gonna reboot your server. Once the server reboots, you're gonna go back and press F2 to get back into the system setup. You're gonna go into iDRAC settings, network, scroll down to IPv4 settings, and note down the IP address that the iDRAC is using. You will need the IP address in the next step. All right, well now for the fun stuff, we're gonna actually show you how to upgrade from basic management to enterprise. You're gonna go into your web browser, navigate to the IP address we wrote down earlier during iDRAC DHCP setup. In this video, we're using 172.16.100.240, but will be different for you at home. This will take you to the iDRAC login page. Dell supplies all servers with a default username and default password. The default username is going to be root R O O T, all lowercase, and the default password is Calvin, C A L V I N, all lowercase. After logging in using those credentials, you're going to be prompted to create a new username and password. Make sure you remember your username and password. For purposes of this video, we're just going to leave the login the same and click continue. This is going to bring you to the iDRAC home screen. Under system information, look for license. It will show you the license the server currently has. 
On top of the home screen, go to the configuration tab and then licenses. Once in the licenses menu, under license options, select the import option. This will prompt you to choose a file and we will select the .xml file that we obtained at the beginning. The license will import in and all we will need to do is log out and log back in. Once we're logged back in, check the license type at the top of the screen. It should now say Enterprise. Congratulations, we've successfully installed iDRAC Enterprise into our 15th gen server. Well, hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we sell new and we sell used, and we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.